Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial today I'm going to be showing you how you can create your own resin and jessamite custom Christmas ornaments. Before we get started I just wanted to give a big shout out and thank you to Cricut for sponsoring this video. I am so excited about this. This is my first proper sponsorship deal for this channel and the Cricut machine looks awesome. I was actually eyeing it off and looking at kind of like which one I should buy because I've been seeing so many TikToks of people using it um, and I just thought it'd be like really great to combine with my arc with my art and start to customize it and then Cricut reached out to me because you know putting the positive vibes out there um, and asked to collaborate on my YouTube channel so this is my first really big one um, so excited because not only are they like working with me but they gave me a brand new Cricut machine which is so good and a whole bunch of stuff to go with it so you might like see this box over here um, like who doesn't love packages but they gave me a whole bunch of stuff to try out they gave me a whole bunch of stuff to try out and I have so many cool tutorial ideas um, because I can just, it does so much like I did not realize how much you can do with a Cricut machine until I started to look into it. Um, so I've got a few tutorials coming up collaborating with these guys. So definitely make sure you go and check them out. And I'm going to be using it in this tutorial today. To start this project, I'm going to need a few items. I'm using an old baking tray to hold my silicon in. I'm also going to be using the Pinky Seal silicone from Barnes, as well as a few ornaments. I've got some ceramic flat baubles and a Christmas tree. The silicone that I'm using is a one to one ratio. So as long as I've got even amounts of both part A and part B and I thoroughly combine them, I'm going to have a silicone that chemically reacts and sets. So the thing that I do like about using this particular one, Pinky Seal, is because one part is white and one part is pink. So it's really easy to see when both parts have combined together. I do also like to use their trans seal, um, which is their clear one, but it's a lot harder to tell when both parts are combined. So your pinky seal is a great silicon to get for beginners. I do recommend to get some mold releasing spray and spray that in your container that you're using. It just makes it a lot easier to demold the silicon once it is set. I'm using three ornaments today and they all fit quite nicely inside the sh shape of my container, you want to make sure that you've got at least one centimeter gap between each ornament and also the edge of your container. If you put your ornament too close up to the border, what you can find is when you do pull it out of the silicon, it can sometimes break your mold. So it's always good to have a nice little safety around all of your ornaments and the edge of the mold. Once you're happy with how that's looking, I then just pour my silicone straight on top. For this size, I'm using 400 in total, and I just like to pour it on top. Because these are quite heavy, they don't generally float, but if you do have any lighter items that you are casting, you do need to just make sure that they're not gonna float up in the silicone. I left my silicone for about an hour before I decided to demold it. You can do it sooner, but an hour is a really good amount of time to let it fully cure. It's so easy to pull out because I used my spray. Then with a Stanley knife, I just cut away any of the silicone that did get under my ornaments and pulled all of my ornaments out of the mold. Once all of my ornaments were out of my mold, I then got some silver and gold leaf flakes and started to place that onto the bottom of my mold. And I kind of just did this quite randomly. You can add as much or as little as you like. And I'm just gonna do this because sometimes I do find if I just mix this through the jessamite, the jessamite does tend to cover quite a lot of it. So by placing my silver leaves and my gold leaf flakes directly onto the mold, I get a lot more coming through than if I do when I just mix it straight through my jessamite. 
If you haven't heard of Jezzamite before, it is an acrylic based resin and is starting to become super popular. So Jezzamite is a brand name and they were kind of the first ones to do it, but now there are quite a few brands that are releasing their own version of it as it's becoming more popular. I know Jess Resin has just released their own as well as Colorberry and also Ox Art, Art Supplies does have their own version, but you just want to look for an acrylic resin. It comes as one part powder and one part your liquid. You then mix that up together at the correct ratio depending on the brand that you are using. It does need a lot of mixing to get it into a really smooth consistency. So a bit of elbow grease goes a really long way. Then I've just mixed some of my gold leaf and silver leaf flakes in and I'm pouring that directly into my mold. The great thing about this is it sets super fast, so in about half an hour time, I can then demold all of these items. So what makes it a little bit different from your epoxy resin is one, it's an acrylic base, so it kind of has the same consistency as plaster of Paris, but just a little bit stronger, and you can do a lot of the same things that you can do with resin with Jessamite. It just gives you more of a concrete or um, ceramic feel over like a shiny, glossy feel. Because Jessamite set so fast, in 20 minutes time I was able to pull them out of my mold and the Jessamite doesn't damage the silicon molds at all, it's very similar to your normal epoxy resin. Now if you need to, you can give it a really light sanding, sometimes this will help bring up the silver leaf that is covered underneath or and get rid of any of those sharp edges that you might have. Because I want to do a half Jessamite, half epoxy resin Christmas ornament, I'm actually going to be snapping these Jessamite Christmas ornaments in half, or you can snap them into a few pieces depending on the kind of design that you want to do. I've just mixed up 150 ml of my epoxy casting resin, and then I'm just going to be adding some of my new sparkle powder into this resin. So if you don't know, this is going to be a part of my new pigment line, which is coming out soon. So keep an eye out for that. I'm also adding some more silver and gold leaf flakes into my resin, giving that a really good mix. And then I'm going to be pouring that into my mold with my jessamite pieces. I just like to place my jessamite piece in first, and then I hold it down with just a finger as I pour in the resin, just to make sure that it doesn't float. It does stick really well back into the silicon molds. I left these to dry overnight and then it's time to demold them. They do come out with a matte finish because the items that I cast from were matte to begin with. So just to give them a bit of a gloss, I'm going to be doing a top coat. I'm also adding a little bit of that sparkle powder back in to my epoxy resin top coat. And then just making sure that I cover the full surface area of my decoration. So we've got our ornaments all made and it's time that we start using the Cricut machine which I'm so excited about and we're going to be customizing these ornaments. I am going to just be adding words like joy and merry like Christmas themed words um, and I'm going to show you how you can use the Cricut machine to create your own little cutout stickers to add on to your ornaments. Um, another great option is that you could do the year and a name um, so you could do like you know all of your kids names or your pets. Um, you can really do whatever you want with the Cricut machine, make whatever stickers that you want to add on to your Christmas decorations, which is so cool because that way you can completely customize like all your ornaments. Every year you can make new ones, you can add the date on. Um, you could also just do it on the back so that way you know like what year you've made all your ornaments. Um, you can really do a lot with this. Now that my ornaments are made, it is time to use my Cricut machine to customize them. I honestly thought using the Cricut machine would be a lot harder, but it was so incredibly simple to use. 
To use your Cricut machine, you just need to download the software to your computer and then plug your machine in. It is that simple. I've just decided to go with a few little different Christmas texts and you can see that they have so many different fonts to choose from. I went with this style because I thought it suited the ornaments really well. Once you've worked out your size, then you click group and then make it. With this new Cricut machine that I have, which is the Cricut Cup 3, you don't need to use a mat, which is super handy. So I went for the mat free option, but if you want to, you can use a mat. Then you need to pick your base material. So for this project, I'm using the Smart Vinyl and that will say on the packet of the item that you're going to be using. I've gone for this really beautiful soft gold as I think it will work really well with my ornaments. I've just loaded it into the machine and then the Cricut machine will tell you what to do by the buttons flashing. So incredibly simple to use and also really cool to watch it go back and forth as it cuts out your design. To make all of my stickers in my Cricut Maker 3, it only took a few minutes to do. I'm going to be doing a technique called reverse transferring, which I actually found out about in the Cricut Maker Facebook groups. To reverse transfer my sticker, I just peeled off the background and then got some transfer tape and applied that over the top of my word. You need to rub it in really thoroughly so that way the transfer tape adheres to the sticker. And then you just want to place it in to wherever you want to add your design and then once again give it a really good rub to make sure that it adheres down to your Christmas bauble. And then once you're happy with that, you just peel off your transfer tape. You can use your transfer tape again and again, so I use the same piece of tape to do all of my baubles. And that's how easy it is to customize your own Christmas decorations. I think these have turned out amazing and then I just repeated the process on all of my other decorations. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. And I especially want to thank Cricut for sponsoring this tutorial. If you make these at home, I'd love to see how they turn out. So don't forget to tag me on Instagram. It's SherryVegas underscore artist. I'd love to see how all of your Christmas decorations turn out. Um, if you're new to my channel, please do subscribe as I post new videos every single week and it really helps me out. And yeah, thank you guys for watching.